Hello folks. In this video I'd like to explain to you a bit about water testing with a Heatmaster outdoor furnace. Uh, your dealer will provide you with test bottles and labels. Heatmaster requires that you send in a water test once a year so they can verify the level of water treatment that's in your furnace. This is very important to prevent sludge and scale buildup in the furnace. Uh, to do your water test, you would get your um, sample bottle, comes in a cardboard mailing tube, take that out, there's your test bottle, go into the back of your furnace. Now if the furnace is hot, you don't want to put it directly into the bottle. This furnace has been shut off, it's in the summer, uh, the water's cool, but if it's hot you would want to run it into another container and then transfer it over once it cools off. Uh, when you do your test, collect your test, you will open the drain valve, and you do not want to use the water that first comes out because it's just the water that's sitting right here in the nipple they've welded on. So you want to flush it first. Um, dump out about half a gallon. I don't know if you can see on there, but there's just a little bit of grit and stuff came through at the beginning. It was kind of murky and it cleared out. Now that it's flushed out, I'll open it up to just a thin screen. You could have a larger container and catch it in. Might be quicker. And you can see that looks a little bit, a little bit yellow, um, but that's normal for us. The water's been circulating the system for a year or two, um, but it's not the brown, sloppy looking water that you would see in an untreated furnace. So if it's brown and sloppy more than just the first you know, cup full that comes out, I would definitely send in a test as soon as possible. Uh, that's not a good sign. Yeah, if it's hot, I would wait to put the lid on until it's cooled off because the bottle will collapse as it cools down. This is cold water, so I'll put the lid on. So we've taken our sample and now we, I want to show you how to fill out the label. The top portion of the label from here to here um, you would need to fill out your dealer name, your, you as the furnace owner, your name and address, the serial number of the furnace, that'll be on the front of the furnace, it's a silver label. If you're facing the firebox door, it'll be the upper right hand corner, at least on most newer models. Somewhere on the furnace there will be a serial number. The date you collected it, your email or phone, no phone number. Um, an email is wonderful because they can send your test results back by email. It's much quicker and you'll have it on your email forever. You won't lose it. A uh, phone number does help also because if they have a question about something with your test um, with a sample they can contact you easily. Uh, they will not sell your information to someone else or whatever it is safe with them. Does it contain antifreeze? In most cases is no, but just circle whichever that is. Um, then you would cut this off here at the dotted line. And I'm going to use my Leatherman because Leathermans are just pretty nice tools. This portion here peels and sticks. goes directly on your sample bottle. That way they got a permanent record of who you are and which what this sample goes to. As I was saying earlier it looks a little yellow but it's not that dark brown murky color so that's normal. So we're ready to mail your sample bottle and open your mailing tube Make sure your lid is on tight, pop that in, put your tube back on, you want to tape it shut. Weather into the rescue, I would probably put one lengthwise around it too. There it's ready to mail. 
Uh, your label on the outside, be sure it's, if you're a U.S. customer, that it says Wahala, North Dakota. There are still a few old labels floating around that go to Wisconsin and other places. Make sure it's a Wah P.O. Box 373, Wahala, North Dakota. And also, if you're a U.S. customer, uh, make sure you have the U.S. Um, mailing label. A um, Canadian one will get to them, but it'll cost you twice as much. Now, you can mail this directly in this canister, but they will weigh it. You would just peel and stick this mailing label right on the outside like that. Put your return address on it. Or you can go to the post office and get a flat rate envelope. Slide this inside. It'll cost you about half as much. And this label would go on the outside of the flat rate. And then you're ready to go. Um, you'll probably have to wait so two to four weeks till you get a reply back. Uh, it's got to get all the way there and get tested and then uh, they'll email you back and they'll tell you how much water treatment to add back to the furnace or what other recommendations they have. Um, when you add water treatment, if you're, uh, that's their recommendation, make sure it is the wood burning furnace treatment from certified labs. Um, other brands may have the right nitrate levels but don't have some other ingredients that helps dampen electrolysis and your test will constantly be coming back high in electrical conductivity. If you try some other brands you may find on the internet. Um, so far from the testing we've, that Heatmaster's done, uh, the Certified Labs Wood Burning Furnace Treatment has tested by far the best of any brand they've tried. Um, hope this video helps. Uh, I feel like water treatment is one of the most critical things that you can do to maintain your furnace and so we want our customers to get this right. Thanks for watching.